Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. So today I have another pocket dump for you. Uh, what I've carried this past week and how I've liked it. So you wanna know what I've carried? Uh, and if I've liked it, <laughs> come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals, it is a gorgeous day out here. So I'm definitely outside filming this video or on the porch filming the video, uh, but man, gorgeous weather. And uh, because of that, a little different EDC item I'm rocking right there. Um, oh, I, I everyday carry to be everyday carry. You have to use it every day. Um, so sunglasses probably don't follow in, fall in that category for most people. Um, but for me, they are an often used item. I, uh, I actually had a uh, LASIK eye surgery uh, a couple years, a year or two ago. And so uh, I'm very careful to, uh, if I'm outside in the sunlight, to put on sunglasses to help protect that. And these are, uh, I love sunglasses. I've always loved sunglasses and uh, I have quite a few pair, but these have quickly become one of my favorite. They are Distill. Um, D-I-S-T-I-L and uh, you can find them on Amazon for I think 40 to $60 somewhere in that range uh, so not not the you know crazy priced ones um, not the cheapest ones either um, but they're these are like an aviator style and they're uh, they're uh, kind of a plastic got a little little flex to them if the little man gets his hands on them. And uh, these are the Folly brand, F-O-L-L-Y. But what I like about them is what you saw on my sleeve, they are magnetic. So, um, try to see if I can find something magnetized, but so they will, they will magnetize to themselves. And so what I do is I slide them up a short sleeve and let them close and there they will stay. So it makes me, it makes it very hard for me to lose my sunglasses as well as if I just pop them on top of my head, which was my old go-to, my little two-year-old likes to steal them and none of my sunglasses do I want his little grubby hands on. Uh, I, I don't buy the, the cheap sunglasses, it's just not my jam. And so I don't want him, you know, getting his, uh, his little fingerprints all over in you know, my Oakleys or my Ray-Bans or whatever. And so rarely do they go on top of my head and that's where these came in with that magnetic. I can pop them on here. So if I'm carrying little man on this side, he doesn't have much chance to grab those. So it works out pretty well and uh, it makes it really hard to lose them. I have two pair. This is the, uh, the green color. And then I have a, a navy bluish color and they actually get, um, I take them and I stick them just like this onto the hinge of a doorway right near the front door. So there I have two, two sunglasses hanging up and uh, I loved them so much that my husband actually got a pair. And so his are on the opposite door. So when you come into our house, right there are three pair of sunglasses just hanging out. Um, but it makes it super convenient to grab. And if you open the front door to go outside and you see it's sunny, oh, I need my glasses. Boom, got them. So these are probably some of my most used sunglasses just because of convenience um, and they're pretty cool. You can stick them to the car. You can, I have the, uh, the little, um, uh, the little uh, circle thing and they make, you know, the rectangle ones that you stick on the back of your phone that allow you to stick it up to a magnetic mount. These will stick to those as well. Um, so I will, I, I will, I won't stick them to the mount I stick my phone to, but I can take the mounts you stick on the back of your phone that allow you to use that. I can take those and stick them somewhere in my car and pop these on that, which is actually what I've done. So super easy, really love those. I will have a link for these down below, the Distill Follies, very cool sunglasses. These, as you can kind of tell here, have a brown lens, which I really like. And my other ones have like the black, gray, whatever lens. So uh, just a little difference, but really like those. I am watch wear, uh, rocking the Wonder Woman uh, bracelets, cuffs. So I have my uh, standard watch and the smart watch and the standard watch, I still am rocking the Casio Pro Trek. 
this thing's awesome. So cool. Altimeter, barometer, compass. Uh, it tells the temperature, I believe. Um, but it's just great watch. Really cool. Love it. Nice light at night when I want to see what's going on. Like if I wake up in the middle of the night and want to know what time it is, push that button, get a nice little glow. So really great watch. And I am really digging having the larger fitness tracker on. So I'm probably going to continue with this till I decide to go another direction. And then I am wearing my beloved and your guys' beloved Mothman hat. So I will try to put a link to this down below as well. Every time I wear it, I get a lot of comments. And uh, it is a distressed hat. I did not actually distress it. It came that way. Um, but it, will, it has added distressing from me on it. And will continue to. Because uh, I think I've had this about two years now. But it is still for sale. As well as a lot of other really cool hats on that website. So I'll put a link to that down below. And uh, the thing that I'm holding is actually not the pin that is currently in my pocket. That pin in my front right pocket is the uh, Pilot Precise V5, but I've been rotating that and my Uniball. And this one is a blue ink, this one is a black ink, but these have been rotating time in my pockets. Really like both of them. And I, lo I still love my Everyman pens. Uh, you know, I like carrying the smaller, you know, like Fisher Space pens or the Bullets or, you know, whatever. I, I like pens, but I like these because they come in bulk packs. They are very affordable. And if I hand one for someone to use and I never see it back, I'm certainly not going to hunt that person down for my pen. Uh, not to mention, these are the inserts I use in all my pens I can. The, uh, the V5s by Pilot. I have packages of these inserts uh, it's ready to go on pins when mine run out and this is that pin and it's disposable like obviously not like use it and throw it away but when it runs out toss it if someone walks off with it or if I leave it somewhere no big deal so really like both of those and I've been rotating them in and out of my pockets uh, for the last week and I do have a, a pen and a permanent marker on the pouch that I wear the belt pouch uh, but I still I still gravitate towards having one in pocket when I have deep enough pockets to do that. Not all girl pants have very deep pockets, but when I do have that capability, like with my side pockets, that zipper, I definitely toss one in and uh, I use them. I really do put those to use. And then uh, front hand pocket, we're going to jump back out of that pocket for a minute. We will go back. But the front hand pocket, I have quite a few treasures today. I have two different uh, Listerine packs. One of those is about to expire. Still rocking that singular cough drop that I've been for about two weeks now. I can't bring myself to toss it because I feel like as soon as I toss it, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> and then a uh, little bit of change there, more than normal. So I must have purchased something. So that takes care of my front right pocket, the hand pocket. In that zippered pocket, I have a pen. And then I also have this little beauty right here. This is brand new to me, and I'm giving it some pocket time and some carry. I don't need this on me um, as far as, you know, like I still I still have a second, another knife on me, a, technically a primary knife. This will be the secondary. Um, I still do have a knife on me, and I have a multi-tool in my pouch. This is here because it is, uh, it is brand new to me, and I ordered it with the sole idea of modding it. I do not plan on keeping this as is, um, but this is the Victorinox Sw Swiss Army Compact. You have this little tool that does multiple things here. This is, a, this is indeed a multi-tool, but it, it is a tool that does multiple things. This is kind of like a hybrid of the can opener and bottle opener. It does both. It also has your, um, <clears throat> your wire stripper down here, little pry tool, little flathead. So you have this tool, and then the larger tool on here is your big blade, your large blade. Uh, and then the only other item in the front, if we could tell this is a three layer tool, right here is that multi-tool, the can opener, bottle opener combo. Here is the blade that my finger's on. And then up here is the other tool on here. It's a three layer. And this is da, 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 a pair of scissors. And now these are large scissors. Those do the trick. They're not as big as my, uh, obviously as my next tool, multi-tool, the full-size scissors, but these are very big, 
very precise scissors right here on this. So you got your three tools on this side, and then uh, you have three tools in the handle. You got the standard tweezers, and then you also have opposite of the, so the tweezers are alone over here. Opposite of the tweezers, you have the toothpick, and then you have a third bonus tool, which is a little pin. So I guess technically I've been carrying two pins on me, although I would only use this if I needed to like really write something and didn't have something else, because that is, that's not, I don't have the world's biggest hands and that is not very big. So uh, I don't think I would be very, uh, using that for very long comfortably. And I'm not sure how well I could actually write with it. Might need to give that a test. And then you have two tools on the back side, I guess three technically. So you have the corkscrew and inside of the corkscrew is a little flat head. I believe this is for um, eyeglasses. So I no longer wear eyeglasses because of the LASIK. So I don't have much use for that. I guess I could use it on my regular, my sunglasses perhaps. Um, and then the other tool back here is this and I, a little hook, and I haven't used that for much. If you know what that's for, definitely give me a heads up, or if you have used this for something, let me know. The only thing I've ever used this for is uh, I will, it, it, it extends that far completely, but it does kind of like snap in at 90 degrees, and I will, I will hold this, and I'll like put a couple of bags on it while I'm carrying the little guy. It's, it doesn't, I can carry more in my hand than I can on this hook, but I was trying to figure out some use for it. And I think I was able to get two grocery bags on there and carry them. Uh, and it, it wasn't uncomfortable, but I, I don't think it was beneficial for me. Um, but it was a use I found for it. So here's, here's the plans with, oh, hey, look at that right there. That is a push pin. How about that? I would have never known that if I wasn't doing this video right here. They have a little push pin sitting in the side. So you can definitely uh, poke something or stick something. All right, but so this is my plans for this little item right here. I am going to remove this and replace it with the 3D Phillips head screwdriver that goes on the same spot in other Victorinox models because I do not believe, and if there is, let me know. I do not believe they have this knife with all the tools except switching that out. I want the three tools up front, the big knife, the scissors, and that multi-tool. I don't know that I care that the hook is in there. Any, any tool on the back would be fine there, but I don't want the corkscrew. I want that, uh, that Phillips driver because I don't, I'm not going to use a corkscrew. This might never, ever, ever get used for me. Um, so definitely let me know if you do know of a Victorinox and I'm just missing it. Uh, and I did get a lot of good feedback on wanting to see the video, but definitely comment down below if you would like to see that because this will be a mod I do unless I am completely missing a Victorinox that is this with the screwdriver, in which case I will purchase that. But otherwise, I will be modding this out with a screwdriver here instead. So let me know if that's something you want to see. And if I'm going to the hassle of modding it, I'm probably switching out my scales while doing that. So if you just wanted to see how to switch scales on a Swiss Army knife, you will learn that while I'm doing this. So definitely comment if that's something you'd like to see, maybe a new video I do, or maybe a couple videos, depending on how it runs. Um, but that big plans for this item right here. In my back pocket, I have some cash as always, and uh, I've still been rocking the Civivi Chronic. And the reason it hadn't left my pocket, uh, I normally never stick with a knife that long unless it's a challenge, but uh, the reason it hasn't left my pocket is because I've been using this blade. So I haven't really thought about what other knife was sitting in my pocket. But it is indeed the Civivi Chronic. Smooth, smooth action, really great centering there. Um, nice, sleek. I really do like the lines on that knife. No complaints on me on that one. The Civivi Chronic is pretty good. I like it. Price isn't bad either. In my left back pocket, I am still rocking uh, the um, <clears throat> the uh, flannel, the gray and orange flannel. This one actually just came back into my pocket. I was using my uh, Halloween one for a hot minute while this one was being cleaned, but it is now 
back in my pocket and the Halloween one is being washed. Um, you might see the Halloween one year round because I really do dig that one. And then in my front left pocket, I have nothing as per usual. And in my low left pocket, the zippered pocket, I have my pixel buds. So the only other item I've been carrying is my belt pouch. And we are currently in a series about finding the best belt pouch. And I think I found mine. And I'm not gonna show it to you right now. Uh, it has been a part of my EDC for the last week. I think actually slightly more than that. Um, but I am not gonna show it to you right now because I've got a video coming later this week on it. And the video might actually be postponed till next week. Um, the pouch that I really like, I've used off and on for probably a year and a half to two years. And the thing that I didn't like about it, I actually might have found something that will help me to make it work better. And so I've ordered a few of those items and they are incoming. So once I receive them, I will put, put them on the pouch and see if that does indeed help me. And if it does, I might have just found the perfect pouch with a few mods. So we'll see. Uh, I know there's a lot of cryptic things right there, but... Um, it's a really great pouch I've loved. I just haven't liked how it worked, how it functioned on my belt, and I might have found a way to fix that. So uh, hopefully I can come back with a really positive review on that. And even if not, like if the mods I'm trying don't work, still a really great pouch. Probably not the perfect one for me, um, but still a really, really great pouch that I do keep coming back to. So we'll see, might have found one, and the item is really cheap. Like if this works, and it's perfect, the pouch is super cheap. And that's one thing I am excited for. I actually have like three or four of them in different colorations because they're, they're like 10, 15 bucks tops. So super affordable, lots of different colorations, which is very cool. And even if this isn't the perfect fit, the pouch itself might be perfect for you as is, or it's super easy to add onto a bag. Um, so like I, I have one on the side of my Sitka right now. Uh, so really great pouch that you will get to hear about definitely, but not today. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of seeing what I carried. I'm super excited to show you the pouch I have. Hopefully these incoming items make it like super. Um, we'll see. And uh, I'm definitely excited for some upcoming videos we've got, that one included. And I'm also going to be dropping a video on my fall carry. Because uh, the fall carry is not as uh, lightweight as the summer carry. And since we are not that far from winter approaching here in the United States, got to get that one dropped soon. So keep your eyes out for that and uh, lots of cool stuff going on. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did both. Definitely comment below. Let's get a conversation going and uh, I will be back with a new video. So remember, EDC, EDC.